Okay, so this video is going to be a tutorial on using a centrifuge. Uh, and this particular one is a benchtop centrifuge, but uh, the procedures are relatively similar for all types of centrifuges. So obviously you're going to need uh, some sort of material to centrifuge. So in this case, we're just doing a trial with water. Uh, and then you're also going to need uh, a waste container uh, where you can decant your supernatant. And then you're going to need your centrifuge. Uh, and then some sort of tool uh, for precision measuring. Uh, if you don't want to have a precision measuring uh, and you just want to have a bulk uh, amount, a bulk quantity uh, of material, then you don't need uh, a pipette or, or anything like that. So what you're going to do is uh, open your centrifuge lid uh, and then you're going to uh, connect your pipette tip to your pipette and you're going to pick uh, any tube you want. Uh, and then draw up uh, your desired quantity of solution. In this case, it's one milliliter. Uh, add it into your tip, uh, sorry, add it into your tube, and then replace the tube into the centrifuge. And then it's very, very important that you balance your tubes. So let's say I put this in tube number one, uh, which you can see over here. Then I have to put an equal quantity into tube number four, which is the opposite tube, or else the centrifuge will vibrate excessively and it's not very safe, and it can also damage the centrifuge. So I take tube four, uh, and then I take another one milliliter solution, add it into tube four, and then replace that tube uh, into the centrifuge. I discard my tip, sorry, that fell out. Uh, and then I close the lid. Uh, and then this particular centrifuge has a timer function. So let's say I want five minutes, so I would set it, uh, or let's say I want like 10 minutes, whatever time I want, I set it to that time. Uh, and then I can uh, slowly crank up the RPM uh, all the way up to maximum and it will vibrate a bit, but that's fine. And just stabilize the lid with your, uh, with your hand. And then once you're done centrifuging, just turn uh, the RPM dial back to zero. Wait until the rotor stops turning. So wait until the noise uh, stops coming out of the machine. And then you can open the lid, take your tubes out, uh, decant your supernatant. And now your tubes only have the pellet uh, or the solid phase uh, left in them. And so you can use that for whatever purposes you want to use, or you can use a supernatant uh, if, if that's uh, the desired product. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for listening.